Riga, 1902. Ships lined the harbor. Small clusters of Jewish emigrants waited to board these ships. For a long time, I've been involved with storytelling. For a period of time, I was head of the Jewish Storytelling Coalition in the Boston area. I selected Grandma Rose to do this story because she has a great history. She came to this country by herself, taking care of her younger brother. The thing that I admire the most about my grandmother is that she exhibited a lot of strength. She always was involved with our activities. She always had an opinion about our activities. When Grandma started her journey to America, she had all her belongings in one suitcase, one bag. And when I visited her that last time in the nursing home, and we were sitting in the room, and she opened her pocketbook, um, and in her pocketbook, once again, she had all the belongings in her life. The rabbi was finishing the service. A hot summer sun giving way to a chilled rain. I was glad at the tears in my eyes. I looked around the gravesite and I saw all the friends and families that had come together. There weren't many contemporaries, they had all passed away. My Uncle Joe wasn't there anymore. Grandma had outlived one of her sons. My dad and my mom were there. My Uncle Al and his wife were there and he was wearing his own clothing. He didn't have to wear hand-me-downs anymore. <laughs>